Hi guys, um, my name is Marie and this is the Forex Review for you. Thank you very much for your support and for watching my videos. I'm on vacation now, but I do remember about my project and I do videos for my subscribers for uh, Russian Trading Club. I did huge, um, huge project for them and I do remember about uh, you, English speaking area. Um, I do start this project and I hope you support me with your likes, you know, with your fingers up and of course with your questions under this video about the market. Well, my congratulations to those who did trade gold, who did trade euro, who did trade Great Britain pound with my ideas and I hope that um, current video for Swiss franc will help you also to earn some money. Today we discuss um, United States dollar vs. Swiss franc, uh, Great Britain pound vs. Swiss franc, uh, Great Britain pound vs. Japanese yen, and Euro vs. Swiss franc. Technically, that's what I like. It happened that I was uh, searching uh, trading situations and I decided that uh, those pairs with the Swiss franc are the most interesting now you know, from a technical uh, point of view. I, well, actually, I'm really cool in fundamental analysis, but I like technical uh, practical analysis because you can use it and it is simple to understand. If I will start to explain you why it will happen and why it won't happen, it is hard to listen and to do trades. That is why I take technical reasons to open positions and explain it to you in an easy way. If you do understand me, please press these fingers. And now we go to United States dollar with Swiss franc, and let's discuss what you can do here uh, in the nearest future. Okay, first day of months. Uh, these are news about the PMI, and it is a, it is a really good point for volatility. Use it. Here is a good level of support. 0 0.9630, 0 0.9640. This is area that we can use um, on Monday, Tuesday to trade. Let's go to monthly chart and I want to show you something. You can see on monthly chart a good pressure from upper side, good pressure. But if there were some good down traders who will sell this currency pair, the pair would go down, but it didn't. We see the pressure, but price is not trying to go down below the minimum price of January. No one is trying to sell that far. Pay attention to this. Now we go to weekly chart. And for, for the future, maybe February or maybe March, maybe um, May, I don't know when, but for the future, when this currency pair goes down, maybe it will happen tomorrow, when the currency pair is going down, use these levels. Whoops. Use these levels 0 0.9455 and 0. Point, come here, 0 0.91. This is the Fibonacci instrument that I paint with the three, uh, three dots. And it gives me levels where price will go when here is a good seller. So this is the uh, this is the target 0 0.9455 and 0 0.91. But this is the weekly chart. So we use it on weekly chart when we see the breakdown of 0 0.9630. After you see the breakdown of 0 0.9630, the price will get this target 0.9455 and after that we can sell next uh, to 0 0.91. Uh, now we go to daily chart. Daily, daily, daily. I would like to remind you that we had, I'm not sure if I did um, translate uh, this idea to Russian, uh, to, to, to English trading club, but uh, look here. I had an idea that Below 0 0.9660, it's good to sell with the target 0 0.9440. And I do still think it is a good idea. When your daily chart has close price under 0 0.9660, like it is now, it is good to sell with the target 0 0.9440. But now we need to find entrance um, for this uh, deal and we go to 4-hour chart. 
And what do we see here? We see a good level of support. And we think, should we sell right now? Actually, uh, I, I, I'm using, as you know, I'm using RSI, uh, this indicator that helps me in range trading, and the period is 14. So you see the RSI is um, below the level of support, and the price, current price for Swiss franc is on a good level of support. This is the moment when price can try to go up. How far? We put these levels, Fibonacci levels, and the uh, correction target is 38.2. And 38.2 correction target is on 0 0.96, no, uh, 0 0.97. So now, after you see the price on one hour chart, four hour chart, trying to go up from this uh, level of support, and you see shadows on one hour chart from the bottom side, you should try to enter market with the long positions to target 0 0.97. And of course, you should, um, of course, you should uh, put your stop loss um, under the minimum price of that one-hour one candle that shows you this signal to buy. Okay. Uh, well, this is for Swiss franc. Now we go to, now we go to Great Britain pound. We see Swiss franc, and also here is the same uh, situation. I did sell this currency pair, and uh, um, it was a good deal, <laughs> actually. For now, I think that we also should try long positions because the RSI period 14 went down um, even below the level of support and uh, the Great Britain Pound VC Swiss franc made this double range. Well, I had this range, this one, the blue one, and when I see the breakdown from this point of breakdown, I take the wideness of this range like this. Look here. Here is the, here's the range, the blue one that I used. After I see the breakdown, I copy previous range and from the point of breakdown, I give like next target for the price to go down. And yeah, uh, the price is on uh, the target now and now what I think it's okay to buy with the target 1.25, maybe Monday, Tuesday, not right away, but you now like in a couple of days, we can see the price uh, trying to go up to 1.25. If you see the price is breaking down 1.2360 on one hour chart, wait, do not buy. But actually, uh, when you see when you see the price is trying to go up a little bit, a little bit, so find an entry point with the target 1.25 and stop loss under 1.2360. That is the few future deal that I think uh, I should use as well. And now we go to Great Britain Pound VC Japanese Yen. What I think, uh, it's on daily chart, it's cool to use these levels, 140, 135.20 and 132. But here is the level 138, that is a really good support. Look here. On weekly chart, on weekly chart, it is a good support. And from here, I do wait that price will try to test 140 level. So, yeah, what should we do? We, what should we do? We should, uh, I think, we should try to buy uh, this currency pair with the target 140 uh, and uh, with a stop loss below the minimum price on uh, uh, Friday. Uh, other way, if the price is trying to renew the minimum price, buy it and uh, stop loss under the new minimum price of the target 140, 140. Point twenty something like that. This is the this is the um, trade that I think will be good. Do not sell yet, but use the hundred forty level as the correction and target one to buy to and to sell from there. That is what I'm going to use. And about the euro franc, euro Swiss franc, euro Swiss franc. Okay. Um, what I think for the future, for the nearest future, it's okay to buy it above 1.0650 with the target 1.07. Next level uh, is target level 1.0765. But pay attention to this moment, please. This is the weekly chart. And on weekly chart, what you can see is that price is trying to go down, down, down. And we have uh, under 1.06 target 1.0. 
was 1.0470 and 1.0350. So these are like levels that you should use on, in a middle term uh, targets like that. But uh, if you trade uh, intraday on one hour chart, I think above zero, uh, 1.0650, you should buy with the target 1.07. Check it out, what will happen, and I hope you earn some money on my ideas. Guys, I thank you very much for your uh, audience, for your time, and I hope I do help you, and I will give you more videos, uh, and I will give you more ideas what I have for the market. See you later, guys, and thumbs up, for, of course, and join my channel, push the bell so you see the next video. See you. Bye-bye.